Life. Wisdom. Hi everyone, my name is Courtney Bell and thank you for watching this yoga for weight loss and detoxification video. I would like to know since you're tuning into this video from the very beginning, how much weight do you want to lose? Please leave me a comment. Is it 5, 10, 20, 200 pounds? Let me know from the start what your vision is and as you return to this video and continue to watch it, leave me a comment. Let me know how you're progressing. And we're going to start today just in a comfortable seated position and I'd like for you to try this one out, sitting on your heels. If this is uncomfortable in your knees or in the tops of your feet, lift your hips up, separate your feet, and slide a block underneath you so you're elevating your hips. Or you can slide a cushion, a little stool, whatever works for you. All right. So in our seat, you're going to exhale and draw your navel in towards your spine. And then release and just stand nice and tall. Again, exhale, draw your navel into your spine. So you're gripping your sitting bone, sliding your tailbone forward and pulling your belly back and then relax and sit up tall. So this, you can continue. Or if you'd like to go into a stronger practice, we're gonna practice fire breath and it's gonna be uh, short pulsations of an exhalation that stimulate your lower abdomen. So this area here is gonna be a key focus in detoxing and creating weight loss. We call this breath of fire or fire breath, palabati, because it stimulates this part of your body where your natural fire is cultivated. So this fire or agni, we'll call it in yoga, is going to burn off the excess weight, burn off the stuff in your bloodstream that is toxic and help you flush it out. So let's exhale together, emptying your body of breath and just take a breath into your belly, into this solar plexus, this fire furnace. And then again, exhale. So in breath of fire, you're focusing on the exhalations not on the inhalations. So it's short pulsations. Of exhales. If you're exhaling and inhaling, it's more like hyperventilating. And we don't want to do that. So it's exhale and then let the natural flow of breath just come in, in through your nose. All right. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, small breath into your belly, and begin. Exhale completely, draw your abdomen in towards your spine, release and inhale. If your nose is clogged up, you can do it through your mouth. Let's try that. Ready? <laughs> Exhale completely. Let the breath flow into your body. And one more round of breath of fire. Inhale to your belly and begin.
Exhale completely. Pull into your belly. And inhale, let the breath flow. So now let's come onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs and squeeze your thighs into a furnace that you've just created in your belly. Nice. From here, we'll rock and roll from your shoulders up towards your hips. Waking up the length of your spine, your back body, and also cultivating this inner pull of the front of your spine into your back body. So we roll up into boat pose and we exhale, lifting our hips over our chest. Roll up into boat, exhale, hips rise. So again, all of our energy is really concentrating in the lower belly, generating that fire that's going to really burn away all of that stuff that's hanging on in your body, in your life, that's weighing you down. Good. <laughs> my, my boats are a little shaky right now. Woo trembling toes. So from boat pose, cross your ankles, hands down to the top of your mat and step back. Plank asana. From plank pose, exhale, hover over the ground, tuck your tail, grip your sitting bones and press right back up into downward facing dog. Good, and downward dog. Bring your feet together and stretch your right leg up to the sky. Nice. Now we're going to bend your right knee, draw it in towards your chest, shift your shoulders right over your hands, hover your shin over the mat. Inhale, leg to sky. Exhale, shift and hover. One more time, inhale. And exhale, let your thigh hug up into your belly, knee up into your chest. Good, step your foot forward into a lunge. And we'll bring your left hand close to your right foot. Then draw your right hand back behind you and wheel yourself into a twist. Right arm to the sky, left hand standing on the ground. Good, return your hand down into a lunge. Pivot your back heel. And now we're opening into warrior two. So your hips are open, your chest is open, and your arms extend nice and wide. And reach hands down into your lunge. Step both feet back into plank pose. Exhale, yoga push-up. Grip your sitting bones. Inhale, press back up. And stretch to downward dog. Bring your feet together in downward dog. For your left side, stretch your leg behind you to the sky. And then exhale, bend your knee. Pull forward into your chest. Inhale. And exhale. So as you're pulling forward, really press the mat away from you and compress your thigh up into your body. Then stretch it out. Last time, compress into your body and step that left foot forward into a lunge. Right hand slides close to your front foot as you twist left arm to the sky. So in these twists, just a nice massage for your abdomen, for all of that core energy. So there's a little pressure that is involved as your thigh and your belly meet each other. 
We're going to open that pressure back up into warrior two. So nice expansive pose here. Let your chest sit right up over your hips. And then come back down to your lunge. Step back into downward facing dog. Good, let's flow through one vinyasa here. From downward dog, exhale completely. And then inhale, draw into the back of your body as you shift forward into plank pose. Exhale as you lower through your yoga push-up. Come all the way to the ground or rise into upward dog. Upward dog or cobra. Inhale. Exhale. Forehead to the earth. And inhale, press up. And stretch your hips back into Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Good. Let's bring both feet forward. Sit down behind your heels. You can bring the soles of your feet together. Knees butterfly apart and then gently fold forward. Opening up your inner thighs. Nice. <clears throat> so now we come to a seat with the soles of your feet together. You can hang on to the front of your ankles. Draw your elbows into your body and shift your chest forward out over your toes. So you wanna really feel your hips grounding you and pulling you back like an anchor, dropping down as you stretch forward through your chest. Nice. Now let's slide your left foot underneath your right leg and step your right foot across your left thigh. So you have a hook with your right ankle into your left thigh. We're setting up for Ardha Matsyandrasana, a nice seated twist. So we're twisting over this top right leg by steering our navel, steering the solar plexus fire, core energy of the body over the right thigh. And I like to just massage into these twists a few times because this is where you really get into the good stuff. We don't want to get caught in the same old places. We don't want to get caught in the same old habits that keep us Weighed down, excess weight. We want to really start moving that stuff around, shifting out of those habits and into a place in our body and in our life that really feels good. So we do that same twist on the second side. Your right leg slides under your left, and then you're going to Cross your left ankle and hook it into your right thigh. Standing tall from your sitting bones to your crown. Twisting over your left thigh. Exhale as you twist. And then you can inhale, come back to center. Again, moving a few times so you feel not only your hips and your shoulders and your back, but you're also feeling the sides of your body and the ribs of your body the belly in your body all of this good stuff we want to bring into our practice bring into that fire of awareness fire of our health Fold back forward and rise up. Okay, to end this series, I'm gonna take a couple of side body stretches. So keeping your left heel close to you, extend your right leg 
out to the side. We have inner hips, inner thighs opening. Again, sitting bone and tailbone anchoring you back as you extend out over with your upper body. So we're gonna reach out over this right leg. And a couple of times, see how much space you can create for yourself. You can bring your elbow to the inside of your right leg. And then turn your left arm up to the ceiling. So maybe you're right here with your hand on your shin and you're opening your left arm. Maybe you have your arm down on the inside, on the ground, on your opening. Maybe you've got your hand in your foot, your shoulder close to your thigh and you're opening. Come up and go right into your second side. So your right heel is going to stay close to your body and your left leg extends out at an angle. Left hand onto your shin. Reach out with your right arm. And then come back. Take it deeper if you'd like. Elbow to the ground. Reach out through your right arm and then come back. And one more time. I'd like to take it deeper. Feel free to reach out and then come back down. All the way back to where we began this seated series in our cobbler's pose. Winding down, you're going to take this onto your back. Laying down with your knees together like the top of a pyramid and your feet wide like the base. Your belly, one hand to your heart. And if there's any place in your body where you're feeling a little excess energy, you can let your hand rest just allow your hands to give grounding calming presence through your body through your mind through your emotions your heart over onto your side and press yourself up. Returning to a comfortable seat, you can just cross your ankles in front of one another and we'll close this series just with a return to balance between our breath and our heart rate. Return to balance between where we are this very moment in time and where we see ourselves being in the future. And just allow anything in the past, any old habits or ways of being to be part of the past. Part of huge part of weight loss and detoxification is letting go of the past and igniting into the power of your present moment, the power of your potential. And I'm really excited to hear about your progress in the comments. So subscribe to Psyche Truth and also follow me at yogacurrent.com. Thank you for watching. Namaste.